everybody, this is Don King once again from TheMushroomHunter.com and it is uh, the first week of September here in Northeastern Ohio and I just found my first hen of the woods mushroom uh, of the year. So I'd like to show you a little bit about that. The hen of the woods, also known as the maitake, sheep's head or ram's head as well. And the proper name is a Grifola frondosa. The hen of the woods is a polypore mushroom, so it's a shelf-like mushroom. Um, it grows at the base of usually living oak trees, also dead oaks. And uh, it's a very, very beautiful mushroom and extremely delicious. So here we have several hen of the woods mushrooms growing at the base of this living oak tree. These are going to be superb edibles when young, but they will tend to be a little tough when they're more mature. Hen of the woods grow from a tuber-like structure, basically almost the size of a potato, called a sclerotia, that's going to be buried under the ground. And then the fruiting part of the plant grows above ground. So basically when harvesting, you can usually just break off the entire mushroom, cut away any dirt and uh, other debris that may be right at the base, and you're pretty much good to go. So I'm just gonna break this mushroom off at the bottom here. And as you can see, it's bright white underneath and just made up of lots and lots of tiny little shelves. These shelves are shaped like flower petals and the tops will vary from brown to gray in color. And unlike some other polypores, the entire maitake mushroom is edible. They are great sources of vitamins, minerals, and fiber. And they are also being studied for their immune boosting and even anti-cancer properties. It grows out of one central area, so you basically just have to cut off this little chunk down here that, that has uh, all the dirt. And uh, it's pretty, usually going to be pretty clean for your basket. So when you take this home, and break it up into smaller pieces, run it under some cold water, uh, loosen up some of the debris, some of the dirt that may be hiding there, um, but also make sure you're checking for little stowaways that could be hiding in the folds of the uh, mushroom. A hen of the woods mushrooms are very similar to chanterelles um, in the fact that they are a very dense mushroom. So you can generally cook these over medium to high heat for quite a long time and get them nice and kind of brown and caramelized and they'll still retain a really really nice al dente kind of crunchy texture. Um, these are one of my favorite favorite mushrooms. I can't wait till the fall when these start to pop up. If you find a lot of these, which you generally do, like this is one mushroom which is probably maybe I would say two pounds at least. Um, you're going to end up with a lot of product when you pick one of these mushrooms. So what you can do is cook these, uh, put them in little freezer bags and just freeze them and have them all winter long. I'm going to take a look around here, see if I can find some more, but in the meantime, happy hunting! <laughs>